Hi rainbows, hi bluebirds, hi stars, Miss Morgan here. Today I'm gonna to read to you one of my favorite stories and it's called Juno Valentine and the Magical Shoes. It's written by Eva Chin and it's illustrated by Derek DeCierto. It was just another Monday morning and like most Monday mornings, Juno Valentine was late for school. This time though, it was absolutely not her fault. Her favorite shoes had vanished. Juno's favorite shoes weren't particularly special. They didn't light up. They didn't have wheels. Compared to her friend's shoes, they were pretty boring, actually. But they were her favorite running, hopping, skipping, muddy, puddle jumping shoes. Suddenly, Juno saw something twinkling at her from the darkest, dustiest depths of her closet. Ah! It was a cornucopia of shoes, a feast of fashion. Shoes everywhere, just waiting to be tried on. Hello, Cleopatra. Hola, Frida. You know, thought Juno, it'd really be a shame not to try on all the shoes. Juno stepped into the shoes of Queen Elizabeth, Anna Winter, Jane Goodall, Yayoi Kusama, Oprah Winfrey, Gloria Steinem, Lady Gaga, Marie Curie, Cinderella's shoes weren't made for walking, or skipping, or anything fun for that matter. But Serena's sneakers definitely were. Game, set, match. Victory was hers in Serena's shoes. Juno, it's almost time for school. Juno felt major in Sally's moon boots, but she could hear her mom calling for her. Just one more pair, mom. Once Juno started twirling in Misty's ballet slippers, she couldn't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, twirling, 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 splat. I wouldn't have gone splat in my old shoes, thought Juno. There they were. Hooray! Juno could finally go home, but after she'd been to the moon and back, she had to admit her old shoes seemed the teensiest bit boring. Why not, thought Juno, add a little magic to my own shoes? A splash of Frida's color, a smidge of Misty's grace, a dash of Gaga's sparkle, and a heaping dollop, dollop of Serena's grit. Now her shoes were the most unboring shoes Juno had ever seen. Juno was home and she was just in time. The end. Thank you for listening.